Welcome back, everybody. I'm at Volkswagen's Chattanooga operations in uh, Chattanooga, Tennessee. I'm here with uh, Scott Wilson. Uh, he's in uh, media relations. Uh, thank you for joining us, Scott. I'm happy to be here. Thanks for coming all the way down here. Great. I'm happy to be here, too. Um, can you tell, please, please tell me a little bit more about yourself and uh, uh, what you do here at Volkswagen Chattanooga? Right. I work in the communications area, and I work with um, media. There is a lot of media inquiries about what's going on here sure. because, um, frankly, we've been we've had a very successful start and the media um, with the current economic conditions has enjoyed hearing about um, you know our success the success of the vehicle and um, our hiring so i handle media inquiries and uh, also we do uh, tours of the plant so i guess four days a week three times a day we have people coming in to, to see what's going on in the plant and you've seen it you know yes um it's it's pretty interesting and it's a pretty beautiful plant so um, I also work in the community. Um, Volkswagen really wanted to become a part of Chattanooga because we didn't have manufacturing in America now for, for a number of years. So I work um, with our corporate social responsibility, charitable giving, and volunteering in the community. Great, great. That's great. How do you feel about the new Passat? The new Passat, um, I feel pride. We, uh, when I first started here, there was nothing here. So to go in one year from a construction site to 3,300 employees, um, state-of-the-art factory that is the only LEED Platinum certified factory in the world, yes. and building right out of the gate the Motor Trend 2012 Car of the Year, that's quite a bit, and uh, we're very proud and uh, humbled, but um, really pleased with how well things have gone. Good stuff. Given that most of our factories around the world have been uh, around for a long time, what was it like starting up a new factory at Volkswagen? It was, it was really very exciting and it was on a really fast pace. Things moved, everything was happening simultaneously. Literally while they were building the factory, the car was being developed inside at the same time. Wow. Um, it was an extraordinary uh, planning effort and um, hectic and a lot of work and very rewarding. Wow. What is your favorite thing about the new Passat? Well, the fact that it won the, the Motor Trend Car of the Year, I like a lot. Uh, but personally, um, I had never had a car. It's, it's an exceptional stereo the Fender. I'm a huge music fan, and I'm doing lots of damage to my ears with this car. Uh, but then the the, the, uh, the Sirius satellite radio yep. is phenomenal. Yep. You're never without options, yep. um, whether it's sports, music, whatever you want, it's on there. Um, yeah, and the ride experience. I just drove from here to my sister's place in Minnesota. Yeah. This is a long drive. <laughs> I got 48.6 miles to the gallon, wow. and frankly, the air conditioning was cranked the whole time, yeah. and we don't need to mention this to any authorities, but I was going five miles over the limit <laughs> the whole time. So I wasn't trying to be fuel efficient, yeah. but it was anyway, because wow. I was driving the TDI clean diesel, of course. So that's a lot to like. <laughs> it's a heck of a nice engine. Yeah. Uh, Thinking now about Chattanooga, uh, how have the locals responded to Volkswagen being here and setting up shop? Well, I have to tell you that I'm, I'm one of them. I'm originally from Chicago, but I came here to go to university years ago. We don't have to get into how many. <laughs> um, and so I was here before Volkswagen, yeah. and it was very exciting. Um, we've been working towards this for a long time to get back, you know, that big auto manufacturer. And when it was Volkswagen, you know, it's such a great brand. Yeah. Uh, people are so proud, yeah. which is why our tours are sold out months in advance. Yeah. And um, yeah, so we've become a part of the community and um, Chattanooga embraced Volkswagen and Volkswagen embraced Chattanooga. So it's been a great relationship and um, Chattanooga is now a Volkswagen town. Really glad to hear that. What kind of uh, feedback do you get from friends and family about uh, your role here at Volkswagen and the new facade? Uh, questions. I get a lot of questions. <laughs> um, you know, what are the robots like, and how big is it really, and how do they go from you know parts to a car? And so I spend a lot of my time explaining the processes, <laughs> and um, they're all very excited. Um, when I drove home to Chicago in the TDI, yeah. everyone had to take a first spin and check all the, the, the gadgets and. And it's on, uh, even my ne my nephews who were in their 20s were really excited about the Passat, which I thought would maybe you'd be a little older than that, but no, yeah. they thought it was a really cool car. That's nice. Yeah. Um, so tell me, do you drive a Volkswagen yourself? I do. I had that TDI Passat, which I got through our employee lease program. Nice. Um, and I have on my own, I have two Belgian Shepherds, so I needed a wagon. Okay. So I um, bought a 2010 black Passat wagon from 
the Hemden brand, of course. Great car. And I have bike racks on top and a kick and stereo, and it's perfect. Both of their crates fit in there perfectly. So, awesome. and it's got that 2.0 turbo engine in it, so it can move us right along. Yes, yeah. I'm familiar with that engine. Yeah. <laughs> So I love that car. Yeah, it's a great car. Let's talk a little bit about the environmental initiatives that Volkswagen has taken upon itself in building Chattanooga. Well, you know, Volkswagen has a Think Blue campaign. Sure. And I think I'm safe in saying that this is the Think Bluest <laughs> factory out there. <laughs> I like that. And um, starting, I, I have to start with we are the only, not just auto manufacturer, but the only factory in the world that is certified at the platinum level with LEED. And lead is um, leadership in energy and environmental design. So this takes a lot. You basically have to start from the start, okay. from construction, uh, to get that. And we, we achieved it. I'm very proud of that. It, it takes a lot uh, for a corporation to commit to that. And I'm really proud that Volkswagen did that. Things that um, add up with lead points, um, starting with, for instance, our roofs collect rainwater. That rainwater is um, used for flushing toilets, for cooling the tips of the welding guns, um, for things like this. Uh, I don't know why everyone doesn't do that, yeah. but and I suspect in the future everyone will. Okay. Um, our walls are six inches of mineral wool to provide insulation summer and winter. Um, the roof itself is a white uh, membrane to reflect light and heat rather than absorb it. We had this. Uh, we were filming with the Discovery Channel once, and they took a black rubber mat and put it out on the white roof and did a, a, a spectro thermometer. Yeah. And um, after 10 minutes, uh, the roof, the white roof, had gotten about seven degrees hotter. Yeah. About 100 degrees. Sure. It was a really warm day yeah. to be up on a roof. <laughs> yeah. And the black mat had gone to 165 degrees. Wow. So imagine 2.5 million square feet of roof area, which is what we have here. Yeah that we're black absorbing all that 65 heat. 65 degree difference. Right, so we're reflecting that, um, or we're not reflecting it at all because it's white. Right? Wow. That's amazing. Yeah. Um, I also heard that the paint shop has a kind of a unique process in dealing with overspray. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? Yes, it's uh, our Echo Dry Scrubber process. Um, basically, car factories over the world, when they spray a car, about 30% of the overspray you know, misses the car. Sure. And it's collected generally in water. Okay that then becomes a toxic sludge that has to be dealt with. You can't send that out to you know, a river or the sewer system. In our process, and I'm, I'm generalizing it here, but basically, if you can imagine the car being painted here, underneath it there's a chamber. The chamber is pressurized and, um, and there are clouds of powdered limestone okay. under it that when the overspray falls and it's pressurized to fall, sure. it, it, it adheres to the limestone. Okay. When, the, when enough droplets adhere, it drops. And that literally, it, it's just a gray powder. You can scoop it up and feel it like topping powder. And that can go straight to a concrete plant and be made into concrete. Or when it, if it goes to a landfill, it's used to help break down landfill elements. So it's, there is no process beyond that. You don't have to do anything to make that safe. Right? That's really great. We are the first plant to utilize that fully, I suspect, in the future. Everyone. That. Tell me a little bit more about what uh, Chattanooga has in store for it as a Volkswagen factory. Well, uh, we just started building the 2013 model. Uh, that's on the line right now and it will be in dealerships at our weeks. Yeah. So, you know, we're focused on the facade um, and, you know, the 2013 Motor Trend Car of the Year would be nice. <laughs> um, and, you know, obviously with a brand new plant, um, we want to perfect that vehicle, and, but of course we'd love to build a new one. Uh, I have no idea when that might happen, but we're we're hoping that if we um, focus hard on building a quality car, that um, we'll be rewarded with another car in the future. Makes sense. Well, Scott, I really want to thank you for taking the time out with me to uh, do this interview. And, uh, you know, again, thank you for having me here in Chattanooga. Thanks for coming. You're welcome back anytime, or maybe on your way back from Pueblo. Right. <laughs> That's right. But, yeah, thank you for coming and letting us show up on We Great. appreciate it. Thank you very much. Yeah.